everybody, this is Praxis, and it's just me on site today. River, uh, he wasn't super enthusiastic about coming today. Uh, you know, he would have, I could have encouraged him to come, but I want this to be a positive experience from his childhood. So whenever he's not feeling 100% interested in coming, I say, yeah, you know, stay back at the house. He plays with Amber, stays a little bit cooler, and that way when he comes here, he enjoys it more, and, you know, when he grows up, he'll remember the idea of building a house as being a positive thing. Uh, my dad is also not here with me today. He's at the beach today, I believe. Uh, so it's just me, and there's plenty for just one person to do here. I'm doing more of these box beams. The box beams, again, are the floor joists. You see one up behind you there, one over here. They're the horizontal beams that hold up all the floorboards. And there's a lot of them for this structure. There are 11 that run across the front, 11 matching ones on the back. They're 16 feet on the front, 8 feet on the back. And then for the second floor ceiling, there's a, a, another whole set of those. So it's 11 times 4 or 44 of these that I have to make. And I figured I could show you how uh, I do one of the steps in uh, putting these together. Uh, there is a two by 10 and then a two by four that goes inside of it. And what I usually do is I'll start at one corner over here. I've got it measured off and scribed exactly where uh, the two by four sits inside of here. And I begin by getting that corner lined up. So taking one small nail, this is an 8D nail, also called eight penny nails and put it in this corner. Okay, and that matches up pretty nicely. The next step is I'm gonna run along the whole length of it and I'm gonna sink a bunch of nails. Um, well, I'm gonna start a bunch of nails, but I won't sink them. And I'm putting these about eight inches apart from each other, zigzagging down the side of the board. So one's at the bottom, one's at the top, the next one's at the bottom again. Sometimes I'll put them in at a little bit of an angle. That way they're, they're kind of like claws grabbing the the uh, board underneath from all different angles. That helps to prevent slippage, so they don't all have to go in straight. They can go in a little bit wiggly, and that actually can make it a little stronger. And the idea of going side to side is you're not tacking you know, one side down at the expense of, expense of the other. Okay, got a few more coming down here. It's oftentimes a good thing to be a little bit too heavy with nails than too light. You know, these are what's holding to your holding your structure together so you don't want to skimp on them. And then I'm going to put a set down here. I just need one more. All right, and I put uh, two at each of the ends. Here we go. All right, and now that that's all set, the next step, oh, I need another one here. The next step is to start nailing down uh, the, the board here. And I'm not just going to line it up on this end and presume everything's fine. Because boards can have kind of a natural wiggle, as you go along, you can kind of uh, bend the board so that they match each other even more perfectly. So I'm going to actually start down here, and I, I got all this great leverage to kind of bend this board around to make sure that it is uh, matching up. So I've got a nice flush surface here. I'm going to tack this one in. I'll just leave those. Come over here and get it matched up again. There we go. And then down to this end. And at this point, this is, the 2x4 is a little bit too far to your left, whereas the 2x10 is a little too far to the right. But because I'm, the last place I nailed is here, I can bend this side to side, get it matched up nicely, and then sink a nail. Check it. Looks good. All right, now that I have all these contact points, I can go back. set all the rest of them. So in that way you're able to take boards that might not be perfectly straight and kind of bend them and flex them as you nail them together. I was going to say how many I have left to do. I don't know. It's a lot. I've got a lot left. That's it. Thanks for watching.